Hey teachers, in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to manage your files that you upload to eClass and how to post some content uh, so you can go ahead and start using it in your class. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to upload the files that you're going to be using. Uh, so to do that, up in your nav bar, click on Edit Course. And after you click Edit Course, it takes you to the Course Administration page. Uh, you've worked with home pages already, but now today you're going to be working with Manage Files. So click on Manage Files. It'll bring you to this page in which you'll see that everything's empty because you haven't created any folders or any files within those folders. Uh, if I'm a classroom teacher, I probably want to keep my stuff organized. So therefore, I'm going to create folders based on the subjects or topics that I'm going to teach. So uh, I'm going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it math. Okay. I'm going to create another folder. We're going to call it science. And you get the idea. You can create a folder for each class just by clicking new folder and renaming it. Okay. So I've got four folders there. Uh, now let's say that in science, I want to post something, some information within science. So if I go, come over here and click on science, notice that it says this folder is empty. If you look at the top, you can see which folder I'm in. Uh, it says sandbox right there, but this is where it'll say your, your class name, and then there's a science folder within that class name. So I'm going to create a folder within science, and I'm going to call it, let's say I'm going to teach a lesson on water cycle. Water cycle. Okay, so now if you look over here and look at my tree, uh, here's the main folder. Within that main folder, I have math, science, social studies, and language arts. And within science, you see that I have a water cycle fol folder. Now, within that water cycle folder, if I click on it, it's empty. I need to upload some content. So to do that, I click on the water cycle folder that I'm going to be teaching my stuff. I'm going to click on upload. A window pops up, and I click on upload. And it's going to bring me to a browser page where I can browse for the different items that I'm going to be using. So I'd go to my H drive or whatever drive. You might have it on a zip drive or a thumb drive or somewhere else uh, and find a folder that you want. Go into that folder. You can pick individual folders if you want. Uh, for example, I can take this document right, or excuse me, individual files. Uh, I'm going to take this file right here. I either double click it or click open. You'll see it appear right here, and I click Save, and notice, there it is. I have now got, in the Water Cycle folder, this Water Cycle document. Okay, if you ever want to remove items, you can click on the item, put a little check mark by it, click on the Delete button, which looks like a little trash can. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do it? Can't be undone. Click Yes, and you'll see that it's empty again. Now, what if you already have folders arranged on the drive that you're pulling from? You already have a folder with a bunch of files in it and you want all those files to come at once. You can do that also. However, you cannot click the upload one right away. You have to do something to that folder first. And let me show you how to do that. So if, let's say you have a folder on your H drive and you want that folder and all the files within that folder to transfer over into here. Alright, so to do that, mi minimize your browser window, go to the computer, find the folder that you want, Okay, I'm going to come to my water cycle folder. Okay, I'm going to click it, or excuse me, I'm going to right click it, and I'm going to, actually let me just show you what's inside the folder. There's a bunch of files there, I want everything to go with it, so I'm going to take my water cycle folder, I'm going to right click it, I'm going to click send to, and I'm going to click on compressed zipped folder. Once I press it, it's going to take the file, shrink everything down, and it's going to create another file called watercycle.zip. Okay? My original folder is up here called watercycle. So it's taken everything down and it's put it into a special folder called, named the same thing, but it's added the .zip or zip file. Okay? So now I know where that is. It's still on my H drive. I'm going to go back now to my window here. I want it to appear in my watercycle folder. All right. So I'm going to take that. Actually, I'm going to... Go ahead and delete this folder right here. And to show you how to delete the folder, I'm going to go to Science. All right, I want to delete this water cycle folder right here because I'm already going to create a water cycle folder in just a second. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to re remove that, click that, click Yes, 
So in my science folder now, I want a water cycle folder with all those things that I'm going to upload. So I'm on the science folder. I click upload once again. I browse just like I did for the individual files, but this time I'm not choosing an individual file. I'm going to go down to that watercycle.zip folder. Okay, so if I go there, there it is right there. I click on it, I do double click, or I click open. It's going to take that water cycle file now, that zip file. As you see, it's counting up. And I click save. And it's going to put that water cycle zip folder there. I cannot use that file yet. I have one more step to do. Okay? If I try to use the files in there, it wouldn't let me. So I need to hit this little drop down button and I need to click unzip. When I do that, you'll notice it'll create a folder called water cycle. Okay, so there it is. So it created our water cycle folder. And this folder right now, the zip folder, you can go ahead and erase that. So you just click on it, click the little trash can button. Yes, I don't need that anymore. And now look, it did like it did before. Had the science folder, created the water cycle folder for me. And if I go within the water cycle folder, those are all the different files were already uploaded. It's a fast way to do it rather than doing it file by file. Remember to zip your files if you're going to do it that way. Okay, so now that we have some science content in there, we're going to, or excuse me, some science content within our managed files, let's go back to our main page that we're going to be working from. And now we're going to work on posting some information into our content browser. Now, let me preface this. If you're in grades K1 and 2, your kids are probably not going to be going in here and actually using these lessons in the labs. They could. I mean, if you take your kids to the lab enough and they practice logging in, they could use this. There are plenty of schools right now in Gwinnett County where kindergarten, first, and second graders are going into the lab right now and actually going in and doing activities on eClass. Now, if your students aren't that advanced yet and you haven't taken them into the lab much and you want to be able to utilize eClass, what I would do then in those cases is to just use this basically as a spot where you're going to launch all your lessons from. So I'm going to go ahead and create a lesson on here about the water cycle. Uh, I need it in my content browser, so let me show you how to do that. You can either click here, since it says create some content. You can either click here, or once again, you can click on edit course. And I can go down to content. All right, so it'll bring you to a window that looks like this. Now, when we're in the content, all right, under table of contents, it says add a module. These modules are different folders that you're going to have uh, put on your site, and these are the folders that the students will see. So I'm going to create a science folder because that's the subject that we're talking about. And if you want, you can create another folder for math. And if you want, you can create another folder for social studies. And if you want, you can create another one for language arts and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, within those folders, I'm going to create subfolders because in science, I'm not just going to cram all my lesson things just in the science folder. I'm going to narrow it down so it's easier to find. So I'm going to click on science. Notice at the top now it's changed to science. And over here, I'm going to add a submodule. I'm going to call it the water cycle because that's what I'm going to be teaching. I created it. Now look over here next to the table of contents. I have my main folder, science. And then within science, there's the water cycle. Over here is where you're going to actually post your content. So to do that, you click on new, and I'm going to upload some uh, files for my manage files. Add for manage files. So the first thing I wanted to show in my lesson, let's say it was, actually the first thing I want to show in my lesson, I want to show a video. Okay. So if I want to show the video that was on YouTube, I'm going to do create a link. Okay. So they're going to ask for the title, and I'm going to say water cycle video. And now I need to put the URL into it. All right, so to do that, I'm going to go to the YouTube site, copy that, go back, and I'm going to paste it in there. And I can say open as an external source. In other words, it's going to open a brand new window and have it play in there uh, if I choose that. On um, this one, I don't really need to. I don't want it larger, so I'm just going to go ahead and click create. It's going to play within the video. Okay, so now that's what it's going to look like. And I want to add some more information. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my content. Here's my water cycle video. 
After my water cycle video, I want to show them a diagram of the water cycle. So I'm going to go click New. And I know I had a diagram in my files that I've uploaded, so I go to Add for my Manage Files. It was within Science. It's within the water cycle folder that I created. And I'm going to choose, uh, let's see, the water cycle PNG right here. Oh, I don't want to click on it. I want to go ahead and click on that one right there. Add the little check mark. If you click on it, it's just going to download it again. Uh, don't do that. Click on the little check mark. Click Add. All right. So now you see that I have my water cycle video that I'm going to do first. Then I'm going to show them a diagram, uh, which is a picture of the water cycle. And then next I'm going to add another file. I'm going to show them a PowerPoint on the water cycle. And the PowerPoint comes from my science folder within the water cycle folder. And I'm going to remember click the check mark, click add. All right. And now after that, I was going to have them do an activity. Uh, I'm going to, and which was also in my manage files, it was a Word document. So I'm going to go back here, go back to the water cycle, and go back to my water cycle activity JPEG. Now I'm going to use the document right here. Oh, once again, you can't click on it. You got to choose the check mark. Click add. There you go. And then I'm going to finish it up. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. Let's say that's the starting of my lesson to give you the idea. Now let's take a look at what it actually looks like. I'm going to click home. And now in my content browser, I've created different folders, science, math, social studies, language, arts. All right, so in these folders, I don't have any content as of this point. But if I click into science, there's the water cycle. So if I'm teaching my lesson or if my students are coming to the lab and I want them to, to learn that lesson, then I got them to the science folder, then the water cycle folder. Or if you as a teacher are going to be using it, I can click it right there. And these are all the different things. Okay, so I start off at the top. Here's my water cycle video. If I press play, it's going to play the lesson. The Kokoro okay. Educational once Series the lesson, is proud to present. The water cycle. Once the uh, water cycle video is over, I'm going to just press forward. It's going to bring me to my diagram of the water cycle. And I press forward. And I believe it's going to be my PowerPoint, which is loading right now. And it's got my vocabulary on it. Okay, so I can go through my PowerPoint by just clicking the down button. If it's not enough for them to see it once, you can zoom out. Okay, you can always enlarge your screen too, all the way. All right, you can also make it smaller or bigger right over here. You can make it as wide as the thing. Uh, you can scroll down like this. There's the first one, there's the second slide, and the third slide right there, and so on and so forth. Okay, then I go to the next thing, and what do you know, it's my water cycle activity that I want them to do. I'm going to have kids come up to the board, use the information at the top, and they're going to write in the blanks as it's projected on the screen. Once they do that section, I'm going to erase it, scroll down a little bit, and have them do that. I can, once again, make it large, and I can put it on full screen so they can see everything. Okay, so basically you can have your whole lesson in one spot. It's real simple. Either you use it to guide your lesson in one spot and you don't have to go to different web pages or anything. Uh, you can post in uh, brain pop activities, links to brain pop. Uh, basically anything on the internet you can link it to. You can make link it, uh, link to it and go to it. Uh, if you do brain pop or something like that and you haven't already signed into the site uh, or if you have the site password signed on there, It'll go straight to the activity. If not, it'll bring up the little login window. And once you log in, it will bring you right to the activity. But that's how you use eClass in your class. Uh, you either have the two students use it in the labs or at home, or you as the teacher can use it to guide your lesson. Hope that helps out. If you have any questions, just please let me know.